Shalom, and welcome to B'nai Noach Academy, Thoughts on the Torah. Please remember to hit the like button and to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And of course, to share this wisdom with friends and family. So in the book of Exodus, chapter 5, verse 4, after Moses and his brother Aaron first approach the king of Egypt, Pharaoh, and demand of him that he lets the Jews, that's the Hebrews, he lets them go. Stops the enslavement, stops the oppression, and sets them free. What does he respond to them? He says to them, quote, And the king of Egypt said to them, Why, Moses and Aaron, do you distract the nation from their tasks? Lechu lesiv lo techem. Go to your labors. The sages of the Talmud, the sages of the Midrash, point out something very interesting. He didn't say to them, go to their tasks, to their labors. Rather, he said to Moses and Aaron, go to your labors. What was he referring to? What was it specifically theirs about this? Well, the sages explain that indeed, the tribe of Levi, the Levites were actually exempt from the enslavement. They were exempt from all this backbreaking labor and they were not required to be part of the rest of the Hebrews and their work for Egypt. Why? Well, because they were the scholars. They were the elders of the people. And even for the Egyptians, they understood that a nation needs its scholars. It needs its elders who should be engaged in the study of their culture, of, in this case, their Torah, their tradition, and perhaps even teach it to the people. And so Pharaoh said to them, listen, mix out. You go stick to what you do. You go stick to your labors, to your tasks. You go engage in your own endeavors and mix out of this. Leave the people alone. Let me take care of that. Now, it's interesting that Moses and Aaron were stubborn and said, no, we are not going to leave you alone. And we're going to continue to mix in, although we are not really suffering. Understand that they weren't suffering. They weren't part of the enslavement. And yet, they decided to take it upon themselves. Of course, by the direction of God himself. But they decided to take it upon themselves to help the people, to get involved. And in fact, they succeeded. At the end, the Jewish people left Egypt. Not only did the actual enslavement cease, but the Jews actually were freed as a people from a place that, quote, no slave can ever escape, end of quote. This is a very important lesson for us. We live a life, many of us, sheltered from a lot of the ills, the pains that others go through. We're not thinking of ourselves as being better than them. But the fact is that we don't have to get involved. In other words, we're not automatically involved. We're not inherently involved in what they're going through. So the question is, morally speaking, should we go out of our comfort zone to go help others? And the answer is, of course, yes. The Torah tells us you cannot remain in your own sheltered space. You cannot remain in your own comfort zone. Go out there. And at the end, when you go out there and get involved, you mix into what's going on out there in the world, to those who are suffering, to those who are going through a hard time. At the end, you will certainly succeed.